Hey, how are you? Selena Gomez. Welcome back to the Z1035 Toronto Airwaves. How's everything? Good? Good to be back. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. Um, I'm not sure if you remember this. Hey, it's Selena Gomez. I've been in movies, toured around the world, but my favorite place to be is right here with you on Z1035. Everybody seems to love that liner that we play all the time. Oh my God, I sound so little. Actually, I feel like I sound the same, but um, <laughs> it, that's crazy. <laughs> love the new song. Uh, good for you. A lot of guys around the radio station are really loving it. How would you describe this song? Because all the guys around here are describing it as sexy and sultry. What would you say? It is, I, but genuinely, I don't feel like trying too hard. I think the record, it, it speaks for itself, and I feel like I found a register and a tone that really suits me. It's a strength of mine, and I, I was trying to find what's going to separate me, and this one was just kind of, it just worked out perfectly. It is, it's confident, it's strong, it's sexy, it's sensual, but it's, kind of, it's not like in your face. Right, I love it, man. I'm a big fan of yours, and I love this song. I think it's the best you've done so far, to be honest. Thank you. I appreciate it that. Thank and, you. And what's good for you right now? Uh, oh, man. Honestly, what's good for me is everything that's been happening. <laughs> I'm so happy. I mean, I've spent the last year working on this album. I kind of ran away and did a couple of movie stuff, and I've just been a little bit under the radar, and I, I feel like it's, it's finally happening, and this has been the greatest feeling in the world to have everybody hear my stuff now. Amazing. Now, originally, the song didn't have a feature on it. I know you're a big fan of ASAP Rocky. Did you just sort of uh, ask him for a feature or to be featured on the song, or how did that happen? Yeah, it was kind of just like a little, like, here's my song. Hope you like it. I would love to see if you could be on it, and he responded instantly, and it was so great. He and I got in touch, and just started talking creatively about the direction I'm going in and I, I mean I obviously didn't question anything he was going to say because <laughs> I think he's extremely poetic and deep and really like fun at the same time so it was just it actually worked out really organic. I just actually watched the video with a whole bunch of guys around the radio station to be honest and uh, it's, it's sexy it's different for you no ASAP Rocky in the video why is that? This is a different version I had a woman direct the, the video so the actual song is just kind of uh the track and my vocal. Right. So the idea of it was just to kind of get inside of what makes women feel beautiful and I feel like capturing those moments where you're thinking about something in the shower or the next morning when you, you know, the morning after when you're feeling beautiful. Like I just, those capture, like this captures those moments. It's really special and I, I thought it was just like a kind of a piece of art in a way. Is the uh, whole album a, a new different direction for you? Because obviously the song is, but is the, is the whole album going to be sort of different or how's that going to work? Yeah, I think Good For You sets the tone perfectly, but it's also going to just kind of go up from here. Hopefully that's the idea. It's my perception on things from people to uh, where I've been in the past two years. It's it's really it's different for me. Mm -hmm. And you've written a lot on this album, apparently, more than you've ever written? Yeah, yeah, I did. I, I wanted to make sure that it had my stamp. Even if I didn't write the full song, I went in with everyone that I possibly could and wanted them to hear what I had to say because I actually have something to say, and that's what I... I knew it was important for this record. What can you tell your fans about the new album? What would you say to your fans about the upcoming album? I'm just excited. It finally feels, um, it just feels like a very authentic. And I feel like I'm growing into my own. I've, I've never been this comfortable with myself. And I think that's just all I want is people to enjoy the music and uh, kind of get my perception of things. Awesome. Is there any more collaborations that we can expect on the album or is it just a one? We might be working on it as nothing official. Okay. But, yeah. Now you're 22, uh, almost 23 years old, I believe. Uh, how's your 20s going so far? Are you enjoying it? Beautifully awkward. You know? <laughs> Beautifully um, awkward. You're That's a good figuring answer. out. You're figuring out. I don't know. You know, <laughs> life isn't figured out by all means, but I definitely am, am enjoying it. I'm I'm happy where I am. When you write on the album, is it, is it a lot to do with your past life or any of that in there at all? Sure, but it's also just like even about spirituality or how people are to other people. It's it's almost just like uh, yeah, and of course love and relationships. It's uh, there's a little bit of all of that in it, but it, it centers 
so far beyond that, it's just kind of, it's interesting. Everyone can relate to it. Okay, so uh, other than your song, what are your favorite songs right now that you listen to? I love The Weeknd's new song. It's so good. Yeah, and he's I from here, it. too. He's from Canada. He's from Toronto. He's doing so oh, well. Oh, I know. I know. I've been a fan. He's awesome. so talented. So, yeah, I love that song. I'll mention to The Weeknd that you love his songs and you're a big fan of his, for sure. Tell him, give him, give him a shout out for me. That would be a cool collabo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think he's killing the game right now. I'm sure he's like wanting to be solo for a bit. But. Yeah, probably, but that'd be cool one day for sure. Uh, what are your touring plans? Are, I hear you're going on tour. Are you? Is there going to be? And there's going to be more, maybe more dancing in this tour. Is that true? Uh, not. Mm, I don't know. There, there's going to be movement. I'm, I feel like dancing. I don't want to be like you know, <laughs> uh, like doing hip hop moves on stage. I feel like this one's going to be different. It'll be a lot more emotional. Right. But not like sad. More just uh, personal. I feel like I want. To be a little bit more intimate. It definitely will be bigger, which is exciting. Um, but I just want it to feel very personal, and like I want my fans and us to have like a great time. Awesome. So no dates or anything for a tour yet, though, right? No, nothing yet. We're just we're getting the album ready, and then a no date for that yet. You can't tell us a couple months or soon. No, I, I actually am not hiding it. We don't really. <laughs> oh, have you don't know date yet. Okay. We genuinely don't know. No problem. All right. Well, we love this song here at Z1035. We've been playing it since we got it. It's already on the countdown to 6 o'clock. I wish you continued success. You're an amazing artist. A lot of uh, younger females, including my daughter, look up to you so much. And I appreciate you taking the time to talk to Z1035 this afternoon. Of course. Thank you so much for the continuous support. You guys are awesome. Hey, it's Selena Gomez, and here's Good For You on Z1035.